Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about creating a time lapse from video using FFmpeg. I'll put a link in the description of my FFmpeg playlist where you can find my other FFmpeg project videos. And I'll also put a link to the notes for this video so you can copy and paste from my website instead of copying it from the screen. So I've done videos where you take a bunch of images and create a time lapse with it, but if you already have a video that you want to condense down and make like a time lapse out of it, there are two options you have in FFmpeg, at least that I can think of. So one is to speed the video up, and the other is to take every nth frame. So in the example I'm going to show you here, I had a video, I sped it up 500x for one of the videos, and the other one I took every 500th frame. So the video I have here, I called it sky.mp3. So I'm playing it back here in real time. It's very slow. Um, the clouds are moving, but you can't hardly see. And this is an hour and 50 minute video. So if I drag along here, you can see the clouds are moving. So I ran this command here to speed the video up 500x. And you see it says set PTS equals 0 0.002. So what that is, it's the reciprocal of 500. So if you want to use a command like this to say speed something up 200x, you just take one divided by 200, or in this case I took one divided by 500, and that will give you this value here. I also run a filter to crop it and change it to 16 by nine ratio, and then scale it to 1920 by 1080. And then I use an H.264 codec, and I used a hardware accelerating codec. I put those on the bottom of the page here so you can see how to do it on a Mac or Windows. But in the command here, I substituted it with the actual libx264. So I would use the hardware encoding on your system if it supports it, but otherwise this should work for everyone else. And then I set the bitrate to 10,000K, the frame rate to 60 FPS, the pixel format to YUV420P, and then I have the output file. So that's the speed up 500X. And I have some notes here that I use to create this FFmpeg command. And then the next one here is use the every 500th frame. So here we're selecting the 500th frame. You can change this to another number. And then we have the same thing before where we crop, scale, and encode it. And I took a time on each of these, and the time to execute on the speed up was 19 minutes. And on using every 500th frame, it was 11 minutes. And I have notes on that too. And at the bottom I have the hardware encoding. So let's take a look at these files. So I'm opening these up on my computer now, but I'll probably take the original files and put them in with the YouTube video, so you can see them natively, not through my screen capture. So here's the first file, and this is the speed up. So it looks pretty smooth. I'll close that. Next we'll look at the virtual, I called it the virtual time lapse, but it's using every nth frame. So here's that video it seems to shutter just a little bit more. And that may be a look you want um, if you're making your video too. And there could be things you could do to smooth this out. So then what I did is I did a side-by-side -side of each one here. So the left is the speed up and the right is the every nth frame. So you can compare them. And it's kind of hard to tell a difference between these two. So I did this at half speed and it kind of exaggerates the jumpiness of it. So on the left, you see it's a little smoother than the one on the right. So this is effectively 30 FPS, although it is technically 60 FPS. But you can see the one on the right's a little bit jumpier. So if you want to take a video and make a time lapse from it, or you know shrink it down, of these two options, it seems the speed up is a little bit smoother than using every nth frame, but the every nth frame is faster to process. So if you have a really long video, and you want to do this faster, using every nth frame might be your better option. And I thought it looked pretty good. It gets the point across. When you're watching either of those videos, you see the clouds moving, and that's kind of what you want to see from a video like this. Now, the every nth frame would be more like a traditional time lapse, and you know, it has that kind of uh, jumpiness to it, and the speed up is a little bit smoother. So I think either of these are good options, but I wanted to compare these two so you can see the difference between them and you can see how long it takes to do each one using FFmpeg. So you can use those to decide what you want to do with your video. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.